Changes, which have crept in slowly over the years, are now quickly phasing out the vaquero's livelihood. What they're doing is they're actually, without realizing it, they're outliving their time. You know, their day, the way they worked cattle, you know, on big ranches is, is also fading away. So their purpose and their, their place in the cattle industry is fading along with it. Ranching is a business, and a very risky one. With less demand for beef and low cattle prices, it's difficult to make a profit these days. Despite hard times, every Wednesday the auction is still the busiest place in town. Ranchers come to buy and sell cattle, while others come just to pass the time. The auction also provides a way to make extra money for underemployed or out-of-work vaqueros. Donaciano Gutierrez, known as Chanate, works here on occasion. He's still remembered as one of the best vaqueros around. With less work at ranches, there is a growing trend toward day labor. A vaquero all his life. At 77, Chanate prefers to be active. But between scarce work and his own choosiness, he's a part-time vaquero. All my life, I've been on ranches, horseback all day, all months working. Only on the last day, we'd go to town to have fun. All month, 30 days, 28 days in the brush, only two, three days. At the end of the month, we'd go to town and then back again. That's what I miss. Every day, the work was on horseback. I'd leave in the morning, work all day until 10, 11 at night sometimes. It's very different now. You go only one or two days, three days, and it's finished. Before, you'd sleep outdoors, like if it was home, 15 or 20 days. Not now. You go, you work, and you come back to town every day. Now, you're not outdoors like before. Everything is different. 